a chill day for me. So, um, so anyway, I'm back here again. You can see I've got my fed hat on, but I still have to do my disclaimer. So, um, before I tell you about this product, let me say again, um, our products are not designed to diagnose, treat, cure, or, uh, whatever, prevent any diseases. So, um, again, these are just testimonials from real people, real, um, consultants and customers. So there's that. So get off my back feds. <laughs> so, um, today I want to talk about our everyday oil. Um, and one of the things because of the ingredients, it says that it is not supposed to go for kids under 18. So I also wanted to throw that in there. Um, I wanted to say too, though, you guys know that it's, it's organic and um, made in the USA, cruelty free. Again, those are the three things you will constantly hear from me because those are the things that matter the most to me. Um, they are saying that this is cold pressed hemp. So, um, and it's third party tested. You can get all the real details on, um, on my page too, which I think I told you guys that before I was watching the news and because there's all these, um, distilleries or plants or whatever you want to call them, opening them up for um, recreational use and whatnot. Um, our products are only there for the healing effects. So it's not going to give you a high or anything like that. It's not intended to. Um, but one of the things that they said, I was listening to uh, KSDK and um there are different like stats that you need and if you don't get those like don't go and buy your crap from the drug from like amazon or i saw the other day i was doing some um errands and one of the gas stations had you know a flashing sign um that they had cbd oil there and we're in missouri so obviously you know that it's not legal if there's um thc in it so there's no thc so you don't have to worry about that but i was like really i as i learn more i'm just like that stuff is garbage please do not buy that and put it in go with a reputable person um go with somebody that you trust and go with um somebody that can get you some real stats please you know i made the mistake with before I knew buying some stuff on Amazon. And of course, I'm not putting that in my body or on my body, I was just diffusing it. So please do your homework on that first. Um, that being said, cause they're like full spectrum matters and all that, but again, that's like the sciencey part. And um, <clears throat> as much as that is important, I like to focus on this other. So normally I talk about my own personal testimonials, but I thought I would share today from the testimonial page. I printed it out pretty big so I don't have to take off my glasses and I can actually read it. Um, but this is from a customer and her name is Lisa B. I'm not going to give her last name, even though you could find it on the testimonial page yourself. So I'm just going to read it real quick and that's going to be it for today, my friends. Um, she says that she has osteoarthritis in her spine and neck. She also has chronic depression and anxiety. Um, she had headaches often and had a hard time falling and staying asleep. So a good friend recommended this product to her the every day. And uh, she thought, what do I have to lose? She said she is cheap and she is a skeptic, but she wanted to give it a try. Again, her words, I'm, I'm just kind of ad-libbing, but I am reading basically what she said. So um, she said she ended up with an ulcer that was caused from Advil and painkillers. Again, that's why I've been trying to, like the older I get and the more aware I'm getting of my what I'm putting into my body and how I'm treating myself, the more I'm just like, oh, I mean, I was an Advil pill popper. I mean, if I had a headache, if I had a body ache, you know, uh, whatever, I was just like, oh, it's got to be fine. And I would be popping like six of those stupid things a day. So anyway, back to her story. Um, doo -doo -doo, she was taking those for her back, the Advil and painkillers. 
So she bought the pain lotion, which you know I've talked about. I'll go into that another day. Um, and this everyday oil. So she put the lotion on every morning and in the evening and started with three drops in the morning and evening, but now she's up to four. Um, and that's with the oil. And she says, my, ba my back pain is surprisingly better. Not completely gone, but a lot better. Her headaches are less and don't feel as, and she doesn't feel as moody. Um, and then she has changed up her products a little bit because she went with a stronger uh, milligram. So she said, I just want to say how happy I am that I listened to my friend. If you are on the fence like I was, what are you waiting for? This is so much better than popping a pill, see, to stop the pain and then feeling too drowsy to do anything. I finally have my energy back. Now I have to say, um, I never took like painkillers. I just took like Advil. So I didn't have like the the lack of energy or drowsiness, but I also don't get drowsy on Benadryl, and I know some people do. So, um, you know what I didn't do for you guys? Dang it. Let's check the price point on it so I could tell you the savings. Um, but if you want the link where you can find the information, just shoot me a private message, or you can even put it in the comments. I just choose to not um, do that kind of stuff. So, um, as far as like, I don't post it. Um, in the thread so that that way if you want the information do you know how to find me I ain't gonna track you down like the feds do <laughs> so and I just wanted to give you somebody else's um, testimonial because I feel like there's a lot more power in that hearing it from other people um, I hope you know by now that I don't blow smoke up your butts that I do not make stuff up if I don't feel passionate about something you will know it um, or if it's kind of like, eh, you know, I didn't have the results that I wanted or expected or that somebody else had. Um, I'm always upfront with that. I, I don't want to mislead people. Um, so with that being said, that is why I decided to go to the testimonial page and, and print something out so that you could have somebody else's um, viewpoint rather than just my own because you probably get tired of hearing about just what I'm thinking. So anyway, that's it. And that's why I missed you guys yesterday. I hope you had a nice Saturday. Ours was rainy. So if I was going to be, um, you know, with a leg up on a pillow and iced up, it was the best day to do it. So we just chilled and watched movies as a family. And uh, today it is sunny and beautiful. Unfortunately, my ankle is still not quite ready for taking a walk again, but I am going to try to get outside and enjoy some fresh air. So I hope everybody enjoys their Sunday. Uh, stay safe and healthy and appreciate your loved ones. So have a good day. Love you all. Bye.